So the plane flight to Madrid, we were booked with Delta. At the request of the family, I tried to avoid booking a red eye out of Los Angeles. Our first flight was supposed to leave at 9 a.m., but the first flight from Los Angeles to Atlanta was changed, and so the flight was at 6 a.m., which meant for an international flight, we had to be at the airport at 3 a.m., which we actually got there at 3.30 a.m., but it didn't matter because the TSA screening wasn't open until 4 a.m. I didn't take too many pictures of the first section of our flight because I was tired and mostly just slept all the way to Atlanta. And ground transportation. We are on the train right now, headed towards Epgate at the Atlanta train. airport. Please hold on. This train is departing. The next stop is for F Gates, F as in Foxtrot. Please exit F Gates for international baggage claim and ground transportation. The train that goes between terminals at Atlanta is underground. The F Gate is for most of the international flights at Atlanta Airport. I'm here in the International Lounge. We just got off the flight from Los Angeles to Atlanta. I was going to stop here in Atlanta a little bit, but it's raining outside, so we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to use our party lounge access and go over here to Club at ATL and see what it's like over here instead. We are in Club ATL, which is the party pass lounge for the International Airport here. And they have a pretty good spread. There's all sorts of soda. As Denise said, what's there here? It's Atlanta and there's Coke. It's yeah, crazy. It's crazy. Why would there be Coke in Atlanta? And wraps and pasta and salad too. They're pretty good. As I said, F gate is the international gate, but Delta decided E gate was better. So we took another train to the E terminal. Right before we got on the plane, I exchanged money to get 100 euros so that we had some cash as soon as we arrived in Europe. The flight from Atlanta to Delta was pretty good. We flew economy class, so we were in the back of the plane. The way our seat assignment ended up, it was Denise and I sitting together and AJ sit ended up at another seat. The onboard entertainment was pretty good. It had hundreds of shows and movies on it, which was good because the flight from Atlanta to Madrid was about nine hours. They had a monitor and a USB charging station at each chair. The flight had Wi-Fi, but it cost $25, so we skipped it. The flight came with the schedule that was also our menus. The food wasn't the greatest, but they did give us some options. I ended up getting shrimp with raviolis, which was okay to me, but the rest of the family thought that the shrimps were too spicy. Hey, Jake. The shrimp were spicy if that's what you got. You can give me the shrimp if he doesn't want it. Nine hours on the flight seems long, but it really isn't. Soon enough, we were landing. We have just arrived in Spain, and I'm assuming that we are going to customs now. Denise survived the, the long plane flight. So far, thanks to the uh, generosity of an awesome stewardess, Yep, she got an extra seat. I was very surprised how fast customs took us. It was only like 10 minutes, and most of the time was because the customs agent wanted to talk with us about the time he visited Los Angeles. When we got past customs, it was a good thing that I exchanged some money, because we found out that our phones did not work in Spain, and we had to use the money that we exchanged to buy SIM cards at the airport, which was used to get an Uber to our hostel. My first impression of Spain through the eyes of an Uber were that the highways seemed very efficient and no one lived in houses, only apartments. Well, this is how we arrived in Spain. Please stay tuned and we'll show you how we toured Europe. Until the next video, thank you for watching and see you again soon.